Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Exhumed movie review. Today we are going to be talking about The Devil Bat. So directed by Gene Yarbrough, The Devil Bat follows a mad scientist who develops an aftershave lotion that causes his gigantic bat to kill anyone who wears it. The movie is absurd. <laughs> I highly recommend seeing it for yourself because there are just bits in there that you just have to see to believe and enjoy. It's definitely one of those movies that you have to decide pretty early on if you're gonna watch this seriously or you're gonna have fun with it and not take it seriously. I kind of went back and forth throughout the movie with this. Like it kind of played out like a romance book. Not that there were like sexy times or anything like that in the, the movie, but of the very few romance books I've read, and by very few, I mean like one, but a lot of them tend to be written like without care for logic. Obviously some are better than others. The one I just happened to read was all about the sexy times and not about the plot, like porn. Like the, all of the events and the dialogue are just like totally unrealistic because they only serve to get to certain events. So in a romance book, it's like to get to like the sexy times. In this movie, it's just to get to other inexplicable events. <laughs> I wonder if I'm making any sense. I'm trying to be vague in case you haven't seen it, but. So for example, um, when the reporter Johnny and One Shot McGuire, yes, the photographer is called One Shot McGuire, um, they show up to, they show up in town to write the story on the killings. They show up at the sheriff's office who conveniently gives them all of the information they want um, and lets them help in the investigation. But it makes it all too convenient for weird scenes like the one where one shot is taking sexy, well, I mean like sexy for the 1940s, pictures of the French maid. Oh yes, did I mention that there's a French maid? <laughs> there's a couple other scenes like that as well where it's just, it's just very like very conveniently placed scenes that are totes unrealistic, but it serves the completely unrealistic and absurd plot. <laughs> Lugosi, though, who is playing yet another mad scientist here, um, he definitely, he, he seemed like he was having fun with the role, which I, I don't know, I kind of picked up on it and it made me have fun with the movie, even though it's dumb AF, like, <laughs> it makes you have fun with it if you feel like the actors are also having fun. Like, and we just need to talk about his elaborate lair, which has like seven different entrances to it. Like, it almost seemed purposefully absurd and I couldn't really tell if it was, if they were trying to make the movie seem this way, they did a great job at it. Like, it felt very genuine and it felt like they were trying to make a serious movie. But there are just some scenes that you're watching like, this can't be real. Like. <laughs> Nobody like seriously wrote this, right? So if they did, like bravo, they did a great job of like concealing that. And what's even more absurd and hilarious is the fact that Carruthers, the the, the mad doctor, if you will, um, is so obvious and yet everyone in the town is like, no, it couldn't be Dr. Carruthers. He's the nicest man ever. Like. <laughs> in front of multiple people, like his next intended victim, like he'll say goodnight to them and he's like very obviously like, goodbye, like. <laughs> and the characters will even look like, that was weird, but he's so nice, he would never kill anybody. <laughs> it was so funny. So overall, this movie does have some fun aspects to it. I just didn't find the entire thing endearing. Like I said, like I was I was kind of going back and forth between like watching it seriously and having fun with it. So it like kind of wavered between annoying and enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> um, I think out of all the like so bad it's good movies, if you're gonna watch it and rate it in that way, it's not the best. You know, like there are other ones I would pick to watch and laugh at because they're bad. So I'm gonna give it a two out of five. On IMDb it has a 5.5 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes it has a 58% critic score and a 31% audience score. And on Letterboxd it has a 2.7 out of five. So if you've already seen The Devil Bat, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Um, as always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today, or you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye! This video is brought to you by all of these awesome Patreon supporters who are listed here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. 
Um, if you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that's in the description box. And if you want to check out more videos, you can click the video that's on the screen right now.